welcome to another episode of the Bun and Beard vlog. Today, we're in the field. And we've got a friend come to play as well. Come on. Today, we are lucky enough to be joined by Francis Cade. I'm gonna assume you all know who Francis Cade is. He needs no introduction on the YouTube. Him and Daisy have been living up in Newcastle for a few weeks with the Atticus crew. They're on the way south and they've stopped in to say hello, which is delightful. Francis, of course, is one of the key reasons that Jess and I got into doing this. We spent so much time with him while he was vlogging. It just felt so natural to us. We're gonna go for a little t-shirt ride in a bit, but first I need to dig a hole. I'm hoping there's some drains buried under this field. I'm not sure where they are. All I know is I need to find them. I tell you what, Digging holes is hard work, isn't it? It's, as a bike rider, you spend all your time doing one thing, trying to be as efficient as possible. Hole digging is um, much more difficult. Why am I digging a hole? Basically, our field gets waterlogged really easily. There's a river down there, but up behind us are the big, big hills. So when it rains down here, not only do we get the rainfall that falls on the land, but we get a lot of water flowing downhill from the hills to the river. And as I noticed during the last band of rain, the place got real soggy. And if you've got a soggy field, you're very limited to what you can do on it. So I'm spending a bit of time investigating the drain situation underneath the field to see if I can unclog it. But to do that, I've got to find it. And like I do with most of my endeavors, whether it be running my business or learning how to use my camera or opening a studio or any of the things that I do, I just chat to people and learn stuff. So I spent the last few days talking to a lot of farmers to see what they know about this bit of land because it's been here for a while. The drains were put in like mainly during the war, but no one's got maps of where they are. So I've just got to dig around, <laughs> got to dig trenches and hope that I find drains. I think there are other ways of finding running water, but the problem is I don't think there's any water running through my drains. So, you know, now why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this, A, because it's a chore I've got to do today anyway. But B, I think it's quite pertinent to the, the theme of today's video, and that's to not let the algorithm, you know, this one that you're sat in watching me via, not, don't let the algorithm define you. It relates to the field in that all the last five or six owners of this bit of land have all just farm sheeped on it. It's got soggy and they've moved the sheep off and wait for it to get dry again and rotate it round. They've allowed the conditions of the field to define what they do. Now I'm not all about that. I'm about having an idea and trying to execute it. Even if it means I've got to move the boundaries. So with the field, I'm spending time investigating, learning the land, figuring out where everything is so that I can do what I want to do with it. Links up with something Francis and I were talking about yesterday. As you can imagine, we're both YouTube creators. We're spending a lot of time looking at accounts on YouTube that we like, things that inspire us, things that are really good, things that are doing really well. I think we always talk about, we always message each other about, and we try and always remind ourselves of, is to not let the algorithm, or indeed what other people are doing, define what we do and how we make our content. I think it's so important as a social media user for a start, and that you don't let the algorithm, whether it be Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, define how your day goes. Because it can have such a bad impact on your day and your mood. It's set up to exploit your attention. If the first thing you do in the morning is look at your social media, that's, that's not good for you. It just isn't, trust me. Sweet trench, that. Sweet trench. Probably only took me about 45 minutes. Not found what I'm looking for. Best keep digging. So the second side of the coin is as a creator not letting the algorithm define what you do. If every choice you make, every decision you make, every shot you make, everything you plan is based around maximising what you think people want, you're going to end up making bad content. You need to make what you want to make. And if you think something good, put it out there and see how it goes. It doesn't matter if it's completely not perfectly polished. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, not full cinema quality. It doesn't matter if some of it isn't like completely pristine. 
Make what you want to make, not what you think other people want to see. If you think something's good, put it out there and see how it goes. And it doesn't matter if it doesn't get as many views as another video you've made. It doesn't get as many views as you might hope it might make. It doesn't matter. Do what you enjoy and other people will find it. If you don't, you just end up digging yourself a hole. See what I did there? So now I'm going to go back to, guess what? Digging a hole. Yeah, I found this ring. I don't think it's the one ring to rule them all, but I can't rule it out. It might be. Fanny's going to be here in a minute. He's coming to help me fly the drone around and try and look for the drains in the next field from above. Genius idea. Then we're going to go for a little bike ride. I'm going to get him to tell us his thoughts on how he doesn't let the algorithm define him. And bear in mind, he's now a big dog. 100,000 subscribers on this, on this here YouTubes. He's got to be doing something right. Good enough for me. I've made the best decision giving my drone to Francis because the number of drones that I've lost or crashed is zero. It's not the same number for him. It's a bigger number. This absolute weapon that Daisy's brought with her. The door is open, I could walk right in. Ooh, but it's a super electric bad boy. I think for me and Francis today is definitely a cafe ride. I think old QOM hunter over here with her electric beast. Different kettle of fish. You can't tell anyone because then um because then they'll flag me. Oh when you oh shh. It doesn't have an electric bike. Yeah, no, it's exactly. not electric. It'd be a, a bun and beard vlog ride unless we did Maximus Faff before we went with it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll change your pedals now, have we? <laughs> bumbling, yeah, we... bumbling. Oh, faffing now. We're finished faffing, mate. Are you sure? Yeah. Just schools? I think so. Yeah. Days? Like I'm it. ready. She's ready. You got me stone cold. What, uh, what, do we, what do we mean when we say, don't let the algorithm define you? It means, I think it means, if, we, if the goal was to get views on videos, then we probably wouldn't be making cycling videos in the first place. You'd be making videos about dogs Correct. or cats with yeah. sellotape on them and stuff like that. Because <laughs> that's where the views are. do so good. Um, so make what you want to make. It doesn't really matter who watches it, as long as you're happy with what you've created. I think that's very right. Yeah. I think you're bang on when you say that. Thank you. You're wise for your years. Wow, like an owl. <laughs> like a wise old owl. Yeah. And also turn my head all the way around like an owl. Can you? Yeah, yeah. Like a wise you old owl. You might have owl. to do some editing. Okay, let's do it. Oh, look at your head go. <laughs> oh yeah. It's still oh, going, you, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, you've done so well. Look at that head. So easy. I think you're completely right. Because lots of people, I think, make content for the wrong reasons mm -hmm. and think about it wrong. And they put themselves under a load of pressure about it. It's probably not good for their mental health. Just make whatever. Just make whatever. Ride bikes, have fun. Enjoy it. Fuck the haters. Yeah, fuck the haters. It can also apply to people who use social media as well, right? Because lots of people like let how they use the social, use their, like, their Instagram to find their day. They'll get up as the first thing they'll check. Yeah. Right? And then just like caught in a web of social all day. Yeah, terrible. When I wake up, before I've opened my eyes, my phone is already in front of my face. So when I open my eyes, it's there ready for me. <laughs> that must be horrible. Yeah, <laughs> Francis and I have been talking about all day. We've got this little motto between us that's don't let the algorithm define you. Mm. And it's more just like a sense check for us if we're like, oh mate, do you think this is a good idea? 
the other one normally turns out and goes, don't let the algorithm define you. It's probably a bad idea. Actually, like put out real content. If you want to make a successful social media page, put out genuine stuff. Put out pictures of you doing things that are cool and talk about it. That's exactly what we're talking about. Don't try and be like, I think the, I think the social media world will want to see this. I'll engineer this weird scenario. Just be, keep it real and people will engage with you. That's exactly correct. 100%. So if you're like, I must post 12 times per day because that's what the algorithm wants, well, you'll post 12 rubbish things and it'll be boring and people will be bored of it. People will see straight through it, won't you'll they? You'll get like weird robotic followers or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you won't get genuine engagement, which is boring. Which is completely right. Make stuff that's genuine and good and that you like. That was, yeah. that's, the, that's the reason behind the saying. Yeah. Don't let the algorithm define you. Don't. Cool. Yeah. Don't. Keep it real. Keep it real, bro. In the words Keep of it Ali real, G. bro. In the words of Ali G. My guru for life. Keep it real. Keep it real. <laughs> Thank you as always for watching. Suppose we'll see you next time. Polly. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, give me a roll.